Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimoInfoTech.com and in this video I just want to show you the um, uh, the steps that you need to follow uh, to roll back to Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 if you um, upgrade it to Windows 10. So in this version of Windows, Microsoft making it easier if uh, something doesn't work right or you're just not satisfied with Windows 10 to go back to the previous version of the operating system. So if uh, if at any point in time after you upgrade you need to go back, um, th there is a way to do it. And Microsoft is adding the option on the uh, on the settings page. So the only thing you have to do after you upgrade it, I want to show really quick that um, after uh, you upgrade it to Windows 10, the previous version of the operating system will get backed up on the uh, Windows that all. Uh, folder. If you delete that, you will lose the ability to go back. So make sure that you have that before uh, looking for the options to uh, to roll back. So the only thing you have to do to uh, uh, roll back to Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 is simply go to the uh, to the settings app. So once you open the uh, the settings the settings app, just uh, go to update and security, and then go to the um, to recovery and now you also see uh, the option to go back to the previous version of Windows and I'm using the most stable version of the operating system so this is the uh, um, um, build 10 uh, 074 but it will work the same in, 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 the, other, in the other builds or in when Windows 10 releases so the only thing you have to do is click get it started and then just wait uh, a little bit and then now we have an op uh, a question from Microsoft on why we want to uh, go in back and I'm just going to see I'm gonna click the, uh, the old version of Windows seem more reliable and then I'm gonna click next and then I get uh, a little of uh, details of what's what's going to happen you know the time that's going to take then and make sure that you keep the uh, computer plugged in and you will have you know going back won't affect your personal files however you will have to reinstall some apps and programs and you will lose any changes made uh, to settings after the upgrade so those, those are things that you want to make sure you know uh, click next and you may need uh, your old password and then go back to the previous version of Windows, click that, and then the computer restarts. After the computer reboots, uh, we're going to see this uh, screen restoring your previous version of Windows, and basically this is going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back when everything is done. I'm going to show you that everything returned to normal. There you go, guys. So um, it took about seven minutes even less than that and now I'm back to uh, Windows 7 and let me see if I go to the uh, uh, go back to the uh, C drive and we don't see any more of the uh, that all uh, folder right there and pretty much now everything should go back to normal uh, minus the, um, the the apps and settings that, uh, that you might have to uh, redo on Windows 7 to get the operating system completely back but that's basically all you have to do so it's really nice that now we can actually go back we didn't have that option on Windows 8 going back to uh, Windows 7 so it's really nice that Microsoft is adding uh, this uh, feature on Windows 10 uh, so that's that. That's basically all you need to know I hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing